Welcome back to the halftime show here on the PAC Sports Network is the WNJ presidents playing host to the Waynesburg University Yellow Jackets today. And we sit down now at the half with WNJ head coach Ethan Stewart Smith. Coach, thanks for being with us. I appreciate you having me, Randy. Thank you. Now, the last time we saw WNJ on the PAC Sports Network, the presidents were cutting down the nets as PAC champions with a win against Chatham 68 63. You know, take us back to last season and how proud you are and, and were, of course, at that time of the program. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's been a long time coming, and we talked a little bit about it um, post game. I mean, there were seven years of six years of pretty tough lessons, and, and a lot of guys that came before this group that kind of laid the foundation. And, and uh, I think the way that we talked about it was, you know, when we first got here being at the bottom of a mountain with no, no path whatsoever to get to the top. And, you know, we, the guys that came before did a really good job of slowly and steadily kind of clearing that path, um, getting the trail ready. And this group last year finally kind of finished it off. So it was just really rewarding. Uh, I think for our program as a whole, to see all of those kind of really difficult lessons come to fruition with, you know, reaching the ultimate goal of winning the league and, and having a chance to compete in an NCAA tournament. So again, really proud of that group. Now that does nothing for us this year. So, uh, you know, we really enjoyed it last year and now we're kind of turning the page and hopefully that process that we went through last year just puts us in a position uh, to be in the conversation for another opportunity like that this year. One more question about last year before we turn the page of this interview, but you were named the PAC coach of the year last year. What does that mean to you to be recognized like that by your fellow coaches? Yeah, I mean, it's it's meaningful, but again, it's just a reflection of our program. And um, that, that was, a, again, a program award, especially with our staff, uh, you know, Evan. Benor is essentially an associate head coach. That's why I wanted to work with him. Um, he's taken the reins on implementing and coaching all of our defensive schemes, really. Um, you know, so he's he's coaching that and teaching it on his own. And obviously that was a big part of our success and a big part of our identity. So it, it's really collective. And then Brandon Staley, who we miss, he he's now a full-time assistant in a great situation at Alma um, out in Michigan. So those two just have always, you know, these last three years that we've worked together have made my life significantly easier just with having great coaches. So, uh, again, it was really good to get that, um, you know, recognition from from peers, um, but it's really, you know, collective and uh, just thankful that I, I'm able to work with these types of guys. You return a great group of players, a core group of players from last year's championship team as well, uh, starting with first team all PAC pick and second team all region selection, Kyron Mitchell. He leads the team in steals, assists, rebounding, also averaging 11 points per game. You know, a guy who does so many things well. What makes Mitchell so invaluable to the presidents? I think, like you said, he just is kind of the keystone of our program and just does a little bit of everything for us, right? So he, it's always um, makes our lives a little bit easier when you've got somebody in there that can guard five positions, puts pressure on the rim, um, just, again, does it all. And his just overall transformation has been so incredible and rewarding um, to watch and, and coach. So we're hoping that, you know, he can keep this success going and obviously has changed our program. Um, so we're hopeful that he can kind of go out the right way as a senior. Another PAC first teamer, third team all region selection, junior guard Nick Gearhart. He missed mm -hmm. some time early in the season, but has made four consecutive starts right before the beginning of the month of January here. You know, how much of a lift is it to have Gearhart back? No, it's great. Another guy that just does it all, especially on the offensive end and, um, you know, plays the back line of our pressure stuff. And he's gotten really elite at that position. So just having that continuity and that consistency, especially with those two guys back in the lineup is going to be critical for us moving forward. So we're slowly, you know, even though we got so many returners, we're still kind of trying to find our identity again and get back in the groove. I think many times when you have returners like we do, you kind of think you're just going to step in and pick up right where you left off and it doesn't work that way. So we're, we're still kind of getting back in the groove of things, especially with those two back in the lineup consistently. Um, we feel pretty good about just the overall trajectory of this team. And junior guard J.R. Mazza, he shattered WNJ's three-point mm -hmm. single season record last year with 102 trays and is once again the PAC's top sharpshooter. Now, how much of an asset is Mazza on the perimeter? And, and just a junior, how has he continued to evolve his game? 
Yeah, no, he's, I mean, we don't, we don't have the success that we've had without guys like him. And I think, you know, he's such a great compliment to our drivers and, you know, Gearhart and Kyron who can put pressure on the rim bigly, who can put pressure on the rim. I mean, um, we're never out of games because JR can go on stretches where he might hit five in a row. Okay. So um, he's, he's just an incredible shooter. His confidence is through the roof and that's because he's put the work in and, you know I think the other aspect that's very underrated for him he's one of our better on ball defenders um, you know he's really worked hard and is just really smart with angles and a lot of teams try to isolate him on defense and then they have a hard time scoring because he just is a little bit more complete player than I think he gets credit for um, he plays really hard he's got really high expectations for himself so I mean that's another guy that we, we just um, would really struggle if we didn't have him in our lineup. He's another key guy for us. And rounding out your starting lineup, junior guards Michael Bigley and Isaiah Langston, both were 1,000-point scorers at their respective high schools and have continued to excel at the collegiate level. What do those two add to the team? Yeah, just, I think, toughness and, and uh, just have a winning mentality and um, obviously took advantage of that opportunity to kind of walk into big roles last year and we expect them to continue that. Right. So both are good defenders, both play really hard. Um, and again, just put the pieces together and, and kind of complement the other guys in our lineup. We talked about how W and J is getting healthier now, but when some players were out, a guy who yeah. stepped up was junior Beckett Connolly. Uh, what kind of impact does Connolly make when he's called upon? Yeah, he's, he did an incredible job there. Uh, again, came in and he's a guy that just makes positive plays when he gets in. He's one of our best cutters on the offensive side. So he just has a knack for kind of getting layups and has gotten much better as a defender and a rebounder as well. So um, he did a really good job of kind of holding down the fort while Gearhart was out. Uh, so, it, it, you know, um, that's what we expect. That that was similar to last year when we had some of our other guys go down. It just meant opportunity for other guys, and Beckett certainly took advantage of that. We talked about a little earlier on about last year's championship and how you built up this program. You obviously had done it through recruiting. And even though you're champions now, you continue to recruit to keep that uh, that high level of play. Of and you brought in uh, you know some great freshmen, a couple who've already made a splash in the early going. Yeah. Brandon Jaquila from South Fayette and Matt Seidel, who played for one of the top teams in Class 6A last year at North Hills. You know, both have already earned PAC Rookie of the Week honors. What kind of a boost do those guys bring to the team? Uh, it's it's incredible. They're just such a spark off the bench. And that's one thing that we take great pride in um, here at our place is just having quality depth. I do not think that there's any drop off when we start to get to our second unit. And in some ways, again, they're certainly different than our starting lineup, uh, but they're better in some areas than our first unit is. So um, just seeing those guys grow up, we had really high expectations for both of those guys coming in and, and uh, they're certainly, again, taking advantage of opportunity and showing, um, you know, that they're going to be really good, competitive, capable players in this league. So, uh, again, just another good group of freshmen that just make us really excited for our future. And after winning the 10th PAC title in program history and first since 1995, the target certainly will be on the back of the presidents this year throughout the conference. How have your players handled that and what does WJ need to do to make it back to back titles this year? Yeah, I think it's just a different mentality and that's something that we're continuing to kind of battle and work on. You know, um, we've never been a favorite. And last year, I think we were picked fourth or fifth in the league. Um, so we snuck up on people. And now, like you said, we kind of, you know, I think opponents are circling our, our game. Fans are pretty, uh, pretty energetic when we come into their gym and compete. So I mean, we're getting everybody's best effort. And we know that going in. And that's an area that kind of that last phase of growth for our group is understanding the type of effort that we're going to get on a nightly basis and um, really going in with a little bit more of a chip on our shoulders. So that's something that's continuing to build um, within our locker room. And hopefully we start to figure it out. <laughs> that's W and J head coach, Ethan Stewart Smith coach as always. Thanks so much for your time and good luck to you and the team uh, the rest of the season. Thank you very much. I appreciate you having me, Randy. We'll have the second half of today's game when we come back in just a moment.